D round, and for that we bring in our panel. Melissa Armo is with us, founder, owner of the Stock Swoosh, and Matt Lindum is with us, managing director at Kaz Investments. Thank you both for being with us. So consumer discretionary has been the worst or among the worst sectors of the year. It certainly covers a wide array of names. Um, investors look to this place. Obviously, you have staples, the things that people need, but consumer discretionary is sort of arguably could be staples or something that someone wants but can't get right away. Uh, Melissa, you've been avoiding picking stocks over the last 12 months or so, understandably, because it's been a tough 12 months. Now what? Well, I really think the market is in for a rocky road in the next half of the year. And even though a lot of people think that we've hit the bottom since we've had a three-day rally and now we're attempting to rally again today, this may be short-lived. And the problem is all of the stocks that are in this in this group that have been lifting and lifting since COVID, Target, Walmart, Amazon, all the staples things go to buy Costco too. They've all had their earnings for this quarter and most of them reacted negatively. Even the ones that rallied after the earnings gap down and rallied after the earnings. And I have not seen Amazon's chart look as ugly as it does right now since 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 the beginning of time, actually. <laughs> I mean, it just is in such a strong downturn right now. It's hard to believe that this stock will ever get back to the highs before at least 2023. So my opinion is to stay away from some of these things that are trending down, even though people are dying to go long because they think the market's made a bottom. I wouldn't be too sure of that. And this now we have a nice, juicy discussion because Matt likes Amazon. Um, you know, and the idea here is when you have a sell off and people just sometimes jump out of the market or try to time the market, then they miss the big up days. Right. There's only, let's say, 10 really great up days a year and you don't want to miss them. And, and that whole bit, Matt, your thoughts, because Amazon is one of your picks today. Yeah, Nicole, look, I mean, entering entering the year discretionary had outperformed staples by 700 basis points annualized over the previous decade. So that's that's about 280 percent over the course of that decade. So we think that gap's going to close. Some of it has closed year to date. Uh, we think a lot more of it's going to close here over the next year. So I agree with what Melissa is saying. I think at the same time, we've seen enough of a pullback. We've seen 30 percent year to date in Amazon, 40 percent off of last year's high to have a generational buying opportunity in this name. I don't need to sell you or mm -hmm. your viewers on uh, the, the caliber of the company that Amazon is. It's one of the world's truly great companies. And we have the opportunity right. to own that evaluation now that's enterprise value to, to next year EBITDA of 13 times. When did we think we'd ever say that about Amazon? And then also you have, Matt, uh, and by the way, absolutely, year to date, it's down almost 30 percent, right? Six months down, 33 percent. So looking at the opportunity there. The other name you have as your pick, Matt, is, is Chipotle. Tell us why you like that one. Yeah, look, Chipotle is is, is just completed their seventh uh, consecutive quarter of record revenue in a very challenging environment. Uh, the company is actually one that can, one of the few companies out there we think in retail that can actually pass on uh cost increases to consumers because there's relatively few substitutes. The company is actually uh, still maintaining very healthy margins. So unlike some of the other names that are out there in restaurants and retail, we think Chipotle could be competitive in this environment and could continue to grow growth at a steady basis. Mm -hmm. um, are there some themes, Melissa? I mean, and Matt likes Amazon and Chipotle. Uh, we heard a lot from the retailers last week, last couple of weeks. Some were better than others and seemed to be a case by case basis. Melissa? I think the problem is, even if you love something, even if you like something, and again, Amazon isn't going out of business. The problem is, there's so many, so many issues that are in the backdrop of the economy, inflation, a recession, a high interest rate, the fall of this year. What's going to move the market back up? Don't forget, every single pick that if you like something, if you love it, yes, you could buy it if you're in it long term for long term retirement. But what if the market falls? What if we go to war again or something happens with Russia, Ukraine? Oil prices are skyrocketing. There's too many backdrop of things that could affect the overall market. And they will pull, if the market falls, it will pull everything down, even stocks you love. If you can be in it for the long right. haul, that's fine. If you can with, withstand pain, that's fine. But to just decide to ignore everything that's happening right now, I think it's problematic. You could be in for some pain before okay. you see the rally. Thank you both. Taking a look at an all-important sector here. Melissa Armo of the Stock Swoosh. Matt Lindum of Kaz Investments.
Thank you. Good luck there at those consumer discretionary names.